Hi, let's draw a gator from a bean shape. We'll be using some white paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker, and something to color with, maybe some crayons or colored pencils. You might want to check out my art supplies video where I leave some tips on how to use them. Don't forget, put some paper, some cardboard or poster board under your drawing so that when you're using the black marker, it doesn't go through your drawing onto the table. Sketch or strong, let's have some fun telling stories. start with a pencil and draw the basic shape of the character and then trace that shape with a black marker and then finally add some color. The shape we're using is what I call a bean shape. It's kind of like if you'd stretch a circle and bend it a little bit. That's what a bean shape would look like. Here's a bean shape. And then we'll draw two small circles at the one end of the bean shape. and Those will become the eyes and then just under the eyes We'll draw a long smile shape through the middle of the bean. At the bottom, we'll put a small triangle, and that will be the alligator's uh, neck or shoulders. Those are the big shapes we'll use to create this character. And they should kind of look like this on your white paper. A large bean shape for the head, two little circles for the eyes, and a triangle for the body. And if your shapes look like these, you're ready to go to the next step. To lay down the pencil and pick up the black marker. We'll start tracing the little circles for the eyes and we'll put a little dot in each eye. Those are the pupils. And then I'll use the pencil lines and trace the large bean shape. We're using the pencil lines to know where to put those ink lines. That small triangle at the bottom, I'll just trace the sides to know where that alligator's shoulders are. That little curved line is a cheek line, and then I'll trace that long smile. I'll finish up with some detail, like the eyebrows. I'll put uh, some bumps at the end of his nose with a couple of little dots in there. Those are nostrils. And then a couple of dots on his cheek, and I'll add some teeth. I've made mine kind of round, but you can make them kind of pointy if you'd like. Finally, I'll draw some bumps on his head and on his back to make it look like an alligator. And that finishes our ink drawing. So now we can pick up the eraser and erase the pencil marks. The pencil lines helped us know where to put the ink lines, but now that we're finished with the drawing, we can erase those pencil lines and end up with a nice clean black ink drawing of our alligator. And now we can start to add color. I'm going to speed up this part of the video, but you'll get an idea of how I add color to the drawing. You may want to take your time. Have fun. Well, that was fun. You just drew an alligator from a bean shape. See you later, alligator. Thanks for joining me. Remember, every great story needs a great character. And with some practice, you'll be drawing some great characters to tell your special stories. So until next time, have fun. See you then.